Good day everyone and once again we are back together. We're still looking at uh, the IEB exam. All right, so I just thought I would look at uh, once again the graph question. Uh, this is from the November 2021 exam. All right, so if you haven't subscribed, please just make sure that you are part of the family. And of course, for those of you who need assistance, you're always welcome to get in touch with us. And our information is on the description of this video below. Right, so um, as you prepare for the exams, I want to wish you all of God's best. And of course, I know that you're going to ace it with all the help that we've been able to give you. Right, so let's get into it. So we've got car A, which accelerates uniformly from rest. Uh, for five seconds and then they say car b begins to accelerate uniformly from rest so what we need to just be mindful of here is that both cars are actually uh, accelerating from rest okay so they say both cars uh, travel at a constant velocity from five seconds after car a began okay so the position versus time graph showing the motion of the uh, cars a and b given below, it is not drawn to scale. Right, so the first question, uh, they uh, ask us to define velocity. Remember that uh, uh, velocity is the rate of change in displacement, okay? So that's the rate of change in displacement. So there's a difference between the definition for velocity or speed, uh, where speed is the rate of change in distance, uh, velocity is the rate of change in displacement, right? Let's get into 2.1.2. So we were asked there to calculate, uh, in this case, the, um, calculate the magnitude of the acceleration of the car in the first five seconds, right? So we're looking at car A in the first five seconds, right? So what do we have there? We know that the initial velocity was zero, right? We know that the, uh, you know, the displacement in that case was 25 and it achieved that within five seconds, right? So in this case, we can uh, simply say, all right, uh, we want the only equation uh, in this case without uh, displacement. Oh, well, actually, we do have displacement. Uh, so I'm going to use uh, which equation? We're looking for acceleration. So I'm going to use V, or the only one without final velocity, actually. So delta Y, which is VI, delta T plus 1 over 2A delta T squared, okay? In fact, let me say delta X because we're dealing with uh, horizontal motion. In this case, it's not vertical, right? So we know that we were displaced 25 meters. So I'm going to take the direction of the cars as positive, obviously. Uh, in this case, uh, our graph suggests so as well. The initial velocity is zero, so it makes this entire term become zero. So this is plus a half times, we want the acceleration and we know that it took five seconds, but that's five squared, All right? So we've got a half of A uh, times 20, uh, 25 in this case, five squared is 25. So we've got one over two times 25 times A. And of course, we're going to divide that by half of 25, uh, sorry, that's 25, okay? So we're going to do the same here. We're going to divide by half times 25. And in this case, that cancels with that. One divided by uh, 20, uh, one divided by half rather, uh, will give us two. So it means that the acceleration was two meters per second squared um, in the original direction of the car, right? So we're not told uh, that direction. So in this case, uh, we're not going to bother mentioning that. Right, now the next question says, compare the position of the cars at five seconds, right? So if you look at the two cars at five seconds, this graph suggests to us that they are exactly at the same position, okay? So both car A and car B are at the same position after uh, those seconds. So um, both cars are in the same position. All right. Uh, in the same position. All right. Now let's go to the next one. 
okay? Or we can say they are at the same position, all right? So 2.1.4. So we wanted to calculate uh, the speed of car A, uh, the, the speed that car A reaches after five seconds, right? Now, in this case, remember, what do we have? We've got the acceleration, right? We've got the displacement, so we can just calculate uh, that speed there. Okay, so I can say VF is VI plus A delta T. In that case, I know I'm looking for the final velocity. Our initial was zero. We know our acceleration is two, and uh, the time that, is, uh, that it took, rather, was five seconds. So it means that um, our velocity would be 10 meters per second uh, from, uh, obviously, during that five uh, seconds, or rather, at the fifth second. Okay, right. So... Um, you could have used another equation of motion in that in that case you'd still get to the same answer right the next question they say to us calculate um, the speed of car b now we're focusing on car b between five to nine seconds now remember between five and nine seconds we've got that uh, um, you know consistent or rather constant velocity in that case and by the way, we've got, so it, it, may, it forms a straight line. And how can we calculate that velocity? We can say, well, it's the change in displacement divided by the change in time. And in this case, we're given the difference in displacement. That's going to be 85 minus 25. And the change in time would be uh, 5 to 9 seconds. So we can use the gradient there, uh, 0.1, 0.5. So I can say, well, the gradient in that case would give me the velocity of the car, right? Uh, so that would be change in displacement divided by change in time. All right, we had 85 minus 25. Uh, yeah, I think so on the graph. Yes, that's 85 minus 25. And that is divided by... That's nine. Remember our time there. That's nine uh, between fifth and the ninth second. So that's nine minus five. Okay. So uh, 85 minus 25, that would give us 60. Okay. Nine minus five would give us four. And in that case, what that would give us is 15 meters per second. Right. So it means that the velocity of B uh, in that case. Uh, would be 15 meters per second. And remember that it's moving at constant velocity. Right, the next question, they say calculate T1 when car B begins to accelerate. Okay, so, um, so we're looking for that time over there, right? When did car B begin to accelerate? So what I'm going to do, uh, ladies and gents, is that um, I am simply going to calculate the time um, that car B accelerated during from T1, right, up until the fifth second, right? What do I have in that case? I know that my initial velocity was zero. I know that my final velocity, okay, uh, for uh, um, uh, car B, was um, uh, that 15 meters per second that we just got now, right? Um, we didn't know what the acceleration is in that case, but I know that, um, or not did we uh, have the time. Um, was there something about acceleration? No, okay. Uh, but we know that it was displaced uh, 25 meters, right? So uh, in this case, what I can do is I can actually use... Um, we hardly uh, use that equation. I'm going to use delta uh, delta x rather uh, is vi plus vf over 2 multiplied by delta t. Okay, right. Why? I've got the displacement. That's 25. My initial velocity was 0. My final velocity was 15, right? Uh, divide that by 2 and the time in that case uh, yeah actually I uh, yeah I'm, I'm looking for the time right so my time in that case would be 
uh, delta t. Now I'm going to explain that a little bit. Okay, so 15 divided by 2, that would give us 7.5, right, delta t, which is equal to 25. And we can divide both sides by 7.5. Okay, so let's do that. Let's calculate that time there. Okay, so um, we've got 25 divided by 7.5. Uh, that gives us 3.33 seconds okay now we just need to um you know explain this properly now it means that the time between t1 and the fifth second so it means five minus t1 will give us uh, uh you know uh 3.33 seconds so we need to now find out what t1 is right so that's the time lapse in this case between the fifth second and that t1 value so i'm going to say okay so um five minus t1 right so i'm taking final time minus initial time uh, would be equal to 3.33 right and in this case it means that t1 would be the difference five minus 3.33 right so that's minus five in this case that would be 1.67 seconds. All right, so it means that that time T1 is actually 1.67 seconds. I hope that makes sense, ladies and gents. Right, as we look at um, the last question, so they say, how far apart will the cars be 12 seconds after car A began to move, right? So that means at t is equal to 12. So we want to find out how far will the two cars be uh, after 12 seconds. Now, we, we just need to be um, uh, mindful that remember they were at the same position at the fifth second, right? So I'm going to take the time from uh, the fifth second there. And I'm going to actually now uh, take that up until uh, the 12th second and calculate the displacement of the two cars. Now, what you need to be uh, to remember is that both cars were actually moving um, uh, at a constant speed uh, between that time, okay? Right, so let's have an equation for car A. All right, so that's going to be uh, 2.1.7, right? So for, um, so for 2.1.7, so we're going to say, well, delta x for car A in this case would be, now remember, moving at constant speed, right? What's the speed for car A? That was 10 meters per second. In fact, let me write down the equation first. So that's Vi delta T. Remember, our acceleration is zero. So that's why this whole term falls away, right? Uh, so don't be alarmed if I don't write it. So in that case, um, I'm looking at uh, the speed, that's 10, right? Multiplied by the time. Remember we said the time, that's between the fifth second and the 12th second, right? So in this case, we're going to say 12 uh, minus 5, okay? Uh, so just keep in mind in this case, um, that's the time from the fifth second until the 12th second. So that would mean that would be 70 meters. So car A would have been 70 meters from that time when they actually were at the same position. Okay, we're going to do the same for car B. Okay, uh, that's going to be VI delta T. So this would be 15 multiplied by the same time in that case that's seven okay uh, so that's 15 times seven and that would give me 105 meters right so we wanted to find out how far are the cars from each other right so the difference in displacement in this case between uh, uh, the two cars i'm going to be uh, to say xb minus xa all right, so that would be 105 minus 70, okay? 
so that's 105 minus uh, 70. Um, it's embarrassing that I'm actually using a calculator, uh, but nonetheless, so that's 35. I don't want to be accused again, you know, of making another mistake. So in this case, we've got 35 meters. So it means that uh, the two cars are 35 meters from each other. Okay. Right. So um, essentially, that is how we would kind of look at position time graphs. Okay. I hope that you were able to follow on and actually, uh, you know, uh, quite understand this question. All right. Uh, otherwise, from me, your favorite uncle, I'll be seeing you guys again next time. And I wish you all the best for your exam. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.